Hey guys, so as you can see, I just bought this uh, 1965 Volvo 544 Sport, four speed manual. Uh, everything runs and works on it pretty much. I'm just gonna go into a few other details. It is fast for a classical car because I'm in third gear right now. So if I do this, hold on. I'm not gonna, I need to buy an RPM gauge for this car as a project. But this is a project car, but as you can see, we are. That's how well it does. And braking wise, if I brake, it brakes pretty good. Not as good as a, um, um, a like a brand new car or a newer car, but for 1965, it brakes good. The previous owner has changed the brakes on it. Smells like oil and gas fumes coming out like an old car should. Has a little bit of oil leak, but this that's not a big deal. This engine has been rebuilt as a new clutch. And yeah, it's gonna be a good restoration project. Doesn't have as much rust as you could say, but as you can see in the back, I have spare parts, and one of them is a very good fender that I'm going to use to replace the damaged fender a little bit. You'll see what it looks like on the outside. But yeah, I have bought myself a 1965 Volvo 544 Sport and you'll see the difference between a regular 544 and a 44 a 544 Sport you there's two carburetors or intake carburetors instead of one that's the difference and it's a four cylinder 1.8 four cylinder according to Google producing anywhere from 88 to 90 horsepower and um, actually this is 20 more horsepower more than the regular 544 versus the 544 sport so plan is to keep it as stock as possible and just to make it actually unique uh, and clean I might even put white wall tires but the tires are even good themselves as well Okay guys, here she is, this Volvo over here. Um, going to be doing some work on it, but you know, it's a Volvo and um, I really like it. So that's how the trunk, let's see if it's unlocked. I might have to, nope, it's here. And they stay up, see? That's how much space I got in the trunk. And to close it again, I just lift it up and it goes down. And you can lock it then. Fuel cap, interesting fuel cap. I already showed you the motor, guys. Uh, that's what it looks like inside. Windows open like that. You got Mexican air conditioning. This churn signal, this is for cold, supposedly, and this is for heat, so you got heat in the winter time. Choke to start if you haven't started in a while. Ignition, you got wipers, which don't work, I have to fix. Fan, uh, lights, like uh, parking lights, high, uh, low beams, and then that button right there. It's for your high beams. So I got extra parts in here, but that's the back seat. Not too bad. Still kind of redo everything. That's how it is. And these mirrors right here, I have to make them a little bit tighter somehow because they don't want to be as tight. I'm probably going to have to screw it on somehow over here. So yeah, but I can drive without the mirrors looking like that. So, but yeah, that's how she is. Might have, might do some white wall tires. That's the way she is. All right, guys, here she is. That's the motor, the 1.8 liter. So the only thing I gotta do is add oil to it since it's using a little bit, but not too much. But this right here is the breather. So I'm gonna have to clamp it down really good somehow, you know, so that way it uh, stays. That's like for blow by, I think. So yeah, I gotta do all that. And she starts up pretty nice, honestly, so gonna go ahead and uh, get that in so all in all she looks good okay guys so uh, about this now neutral I do not need to choke it since it's um, already been started but I should be able to just start start it right up and that's it There you go. 
go. Just starting right up, and then we could just take off in first gear. There you go. Let's go. Driving attempt in the 6 Series. Ooh. 